Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about getting the highest yields on your ETH on the Arbitrum DeFi network. And for today, we're not going to be experiencing any impermanent loss. So we're looking for um, ways to get yield on our ETH without having to pair it with a stable coin or another token. And so I've gathered free sources today. And of course, none of this is financial advice. Everything in DeFi uh, is risky. And so of course, you could lose all of your money potentially um, if things go wrong. So only invest what you can afford to lose. And so the first source I wanted to talk about is Seller. So Seller Network, they have um, a bridge that allows you to bridge assets from multiple different chains and you can provide liquidity on that bridge to allow people to hop from chain to chain to chain. And so if we search up ETH on the uh, liquidity tab here, uh, we search ETH and we go on the drop down menu, we can see what yields we can get for providing ETH on Arbitrum. So in this Arbitrum pool here, you're getting 3.28% and that's going to be from fees. So there's an LP fee for from you know people who want to bridge from uh, chain to chain, and so that's about three point two eight percent. But you're also receiving seven point two percent APY. Now this is in the form of a liquidity mining program, so you will be rewarded uh, seller network tokens. And so in order to actually realize this, I think it's it's got, it's got to be ten, yeah ten point four eight percent yield. In order to actually realize that 10.48% APY number, you are going to have to claim your seller network tokens and then sell them off in order to recompound your farm. So that's one thing that you are going to have to keep in mind if you want to do this. But this is a really good website to go ahead and check out, you know, uh, yield, high yields elsewhere. But the second source of ETH yield I wanted to talk about um, comes from Dopex. So they're single staking options vaults. So effectively, they just give you... Um, exposure to different option strategies and the one we're going to be talking about today is the covered call um ETH strategy that they have here so you have this ETH fault and if we just click on manage i can show you exactly what goes on so effectively dopex just allows you access to option strategies i mean you could probably do this yourself but it's a lot more cumbersome to do so and unless you're an institutional player or you're someone who's like you know, deep into DeFi, it's probably not worth doing all of this stuff for yourself. And so Dopex is nice because it's set up all for you and it really just abstracts away um, a lot of the more technical stuff. And so if you don't understand options, it's probably not a good idea to actually deposit in these vaults. Um, I think you should get more familiar with them before you start messing around with, uh, with options and how they work as well as some of the downsides of them but i'll go into it shortly now so effectively here um what you do you deposit your eth into these single staking options vault and you can you can choose a strike and then dopex sells a covered call against it and then whatever premiums generated from selling that covered call are then returned to people who stake in this options vault so if you're not familiar with what i just said there you know it probably makes sense to just dive a little bit deeper into options um buying them and selling them and then hopefully this should make sense but you can choose different strike prices here um, the closer the strike price is to the actual price of ethereum the higher the apr is likely going to be so for example this uh, three thousand dollar strike price the apr is at a hundred percent because it's very close to the actual price of eth and so you know it's more likely that um, eth is going to close above three thousand than it is to three thousand five hundred dollars by the like um, by the end of like the week and so you can see here the APR reflects that so if you chose like a $3,500 uh, dollar strike it's you're only receiving 13.22% APR um, but this $4,000 one you're receiving 3.63% and so for ETH to move from like 2,900 to 4,000 in a week would be a monumental move and and that's why um, you know the APRs are lower here uh, so this is really cool. Uh, a couple things to just note about Dopex and the single staking options vaults is that you're only able to deposit into them, I think, um, every Thursday. And so you won't be able to deposit into this one. Well, depends depending on when you're watching this video until the 25th of March. And then um, your collateral will be locked up for a week. You won't be able to remove it. And so if you want to remain liquid, with your ETH and you want to be able to rip it in and out of different sources of yield, then uh, putting it into the Dopex single staking options vaults probably isn't ideal. 
but they do provide a good source of sustainable yield in the sense that selling options is way more sustainable than the token rewards that you see for a lot of other like liquidity mining programs and so on and so forth that stuff it usually burns out and dies off with like within a month however you can always sell options to people willing to buy them and receive yield that way so they also have this e fault here and that's for selling puts but you actually can't get yield on your ETH. This is more of a stable coin uh, yield farm in the sense that uh, that you deposit your USDC in there and they sell cash secured puts. And so you're not actually getting yield on ETH, you're getting yield on your USDC. So I would ignore this one if you're looking to get yield on your ETH and focus purely on this ETH single staking options vault. Now, the next source of yield I wanted to talk about is Cap Finance. So Cap Finance is a perpetual futures DEX and it's native to Arbitrum. They launched quite a while ago from my understanding like maybe um you know at the start of arbitrum like september october time and they're a bit under the radar compared to say like your gmx or monte carlo decks but i like it and uh, they have this really cool feature so if you click onto pools we can see that there's an eth pool here and so you can deposit eth and you can get paid out approximately 100 percent apy for doing so however there is a risk that comes with this and so let's just go to the docs and just um, understand what happens so when you deposit into that pool your funds will then pay out potential trader profits and in exchange you'll receive a portion of trader losses and liquidations based on your share of the pool so by depositing ETH into this pool effectively you're betting against the collective ability of traders being able to actually make money which I think to be fair you know I, I think that's a pretty good bet however in crypto you are going to have periods of massive upwards volatility and that's when you're probably going to lose a lot of money do you remember the periods of time where like eth just went up for months um it probably wouldn't make that much sense to then provide liquidity in this pool if you want to actually like take advantage of this properly you're going to want to put eth into this pool in like um, crab markets or downwards trending markets because if if it's a strong bull market you're likely not to make any money and they put this in the risks part of their documentation here as well so pooling is not risk-free there can be prolonged periods of time where traders in aggregate make profits and that can deplete the capital you deposit into the pool other risks include smart contract risk and dark oracle network mispricings which can lead to instant pool depletions so consider all of these risks before depositing so if they outline this as well you know, don't be an ape, don't throw all of your money in because it's likely you're going to lose it, um, you know, if things don't actually work out well. So that's it for this video. These are all of the places where I could find the highest yields on your ETH. And, you know, it's not actually that much. It's not actually that high. And I think this is mostly due to the fact that if you're an ETH whale, you're probably going onto Arbitrum and diluting all of the yields. So it's harder to find places where there are high yield opportunities for your ETH because they're just going to get swallowed up by whales. But there are some good resources out there like Coindex, for example. Uh, you can go on here and then uh, you can choose which change you want to take a look at and which tokens you want to take a look at for the highest yield as well. I'll link this down in the description down below. If you have any more ideas of getting high yields on your ETH on the Arbitrum network, please leave them down below. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.